Hey guys, it's Ryan. Welcome to this DIY polymer clay necklace. So one of my favorite shows is Sex and the City and what I'm showing here is a photo of one episode when they went to the Playboy Mansion and Kerry was wearing this necklace. Um, I just thought it was pretty cool but I just wanted to recreate this you know using other materials so the first thing that I'm going to be doing is making a template I took a photo of this one if you want to go for this um, you're going to find the photo on my blog which is going to link below but if you don't want to follow this exact one and you want to go for your own just make it but I would highly suggest you to just do this because it's gonna be easier the shape it looks simple but once you're doing it it's a bit tricky because simple things tend to be that way they look simple but they are not as simple to make so I'm just going to cut my template using my scissors then I'm going to be taking some polymer clay I'm using white regular one doesn't matter what color of polymer clay you use because we're going to be painting this anyways I'm going to be then using my clay conditioning machine in the like um, the bigger setting you don't have to use this one I just use it because I have it and I find it uh, quite helpful for this kind of project where I want my uh, figures to have like the same thickness all around but then I'm going to be placing my template on top of my piece of flat polymer clay and I'm going to be using my exacto knife to just cut this piece just be careful because this um, this tool tends to cut a lot and yeah just be careful with this one especially on the edges we just want them to be pointy then I'm going to be using a needle and I'm going to make a small uh, hole on the top of my figure just before I bake it so it's easier for me to just place my chain through it if you want to make it a charm just you have to do the same thing in order to place your uh, clasp through that hole and yeah, I'm just going to bake it according to my package instructions. They are super clear and easy. And once it's baked and cooled, I'm just going to paint it. I'm going to be using then some nail polish to paint this. I don't have at the moment acrylic paint in silver that I like. So I'm just going to be painting the whole thing in silver. You can use any color that you want. I just want for silver because my uh, inspiration, what she was wearing was actually silver, but you can go ahead and paint gold, copper, black, white, whatever you desire. So to make it easier, to handle I'm just going to first be covering the edges and then I'm going to be taking a block of foam and I'm just going to uh, place uh, just hanging my piece with a pin to let this dry just keep in mind that if you use a uh, nail polish the waiting time to for it to dry is going to be a lot more than if you would use uh, acrylic paint because acrylic paint is faster and it's uh, less smelly <laughs> so yeah once that's done i'm going to be covering uh, one side and then the other side once it's dry you can choose pretty much to have the glossy matte you know whatever you want but i chose to make it matte because if i make it shiny or glossy polymer clay the bad thing about it is that sometimes it's too obvious and that it's plastic and it's cheap it's not like proper gold or cooper you know accessories so you have to be real careful with what you choose and if i chose to have it uh, you know glossy it was going to be obvious that it was polymer clay kind of is obvious but uh, it's going to be less obvious if you use something a bit more matte for this but it's pretty much up to you i mean if you want to go for a like, glossy finish or whatever you want to use just go ahead and use that go for what you want and yeah i'm just going to let the whole thing dry and then to make this a necklace i'm going to be taking a real thin chain and i'm going to place it to the small hole that I made before and then to make this a necklace I'm going to be using some bead tips for each side one class and a jump ring please ignore the fact that like the things that are going to be on the front are silver and what's on the back and like kind of like securing the whole thing is gold it's because I ran out of silver things so I just went for the gold options that i had but since this is going to be on the back and i'm planning on wearing this with certain outfits that i know that my clasp is not going to be showing that's why i don't really mind but yeah again if you are more concerned about those kind of things just choose the same colors that you're working with the chain and the the necklace and yeah this is pretty much all i wanted to share i think it looks super super cool especially with a black top and something solid so it makes it more noticeable again i'm posting this on halloween because i feel like a lot of people 
might use this for accessories when they don't want to like fully dress up but they want something like scary or halloweeny or something different my sister for instance told me that she would use this kind of things only on halloween not like all year round so that's one option but for me i would use this all year round so if you like this don't forget to give me a thumbs up it helps a lot it was so much fun making this one don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share this one i do have a polymer clay accessories a playlist if you want to check it out it's on my channel let me know if you celebrate halloween and what are you going to be this year i'm probably going to be like wednesday adams but a creepy version of her so yeah thank you so much for watching i really hope you like it take care and talk to you later bye guys